Okay, so right over here, I'm playing Fortnite on a Chromebook. Just to show you that it is playable, as you can see, I can move with my keyboards, I can open the map, I can do anything. If I now press on escape, you can see this is actually a Chromebook. So right over here, this is actually a Chromebook, so I'm not faking anything. Let me show you in this video how you can do the same thing. Hello, and this is what you will need to do. So I'm gonna talk about three things that you can do. So first thing that we can try is to use GeForce Now. But if GeForce Now is, is blocked for you, then here's how you can fix that. Okay, so for this, we're gonna go to door, dodge surf app slash games, so slash GMS. And then you'll be on this page. And now I have to close this. Now we're gonna search for a game, GeForce now so as you can see we now have geforce now you also have a lot of different games like roblox here and it should also be the first one that you see over there and just click on it then it should progressing a request so now it's going to be loading and as you can see we're on a proxy so we're on the dot surf side but we're actually on geforce now so what you then must do is click on get in now it's going to be loading and it should still use the proxy so this should be allowed then now you have to log into your nvidia account so just log in with google or email whatever you want to do once you're logged in you may need to go to your email address and verify that you just log in on this and um, this proxy because uh, it's different from your normal ip address so you may need to do that just go to gmail and click on verify email address now it should load okay okay there may need be a little bit trial and error if it says that it doesn't work or any way, what you'll just have to do is go once again back to this first side where you were, the first step, and just refresh it. And then you should be now logged in. Okay, so now you may need to add connect your Epic Games account if you haven't done that. So once you go to my library right over here, you should see this two out of four connected account connected games or accounts. Yeah, connect. You can also go to settings and you'll be at the same page. But if you just click on this, then it should go to this uh, account. And now you can just um, sync your accounts. So I've connected my Epic Games and my Steam account. You only need to connect your Epic Games account. And once you've done that, you can go back to games. And then right over here, search for Fortnite. Press on enter. And now you should see the following things. So you see Lego Fortnite, Rocket Racing, Festival. But we want to play Battle Royale. So just go right over here and now click on play so now we should be uh, looking for our next available rig depending on how many people oh, depending on how many people are currently waiting for the next week how long you need to wait so for 10 people it's not going to be a very long time and once this is done you can play fortnite okay so as you can see i'm now the first one so it is now loading all right your gaming rig is ready if i click on let's go let's click on next i don't really want full screen with As you can see, I'm now playing Fortnite, so it does actually work. And if this didn't work, you can see the other methods that I'm going to show right over now. All right, then the second method is to go to Xbox Cloud Gaming. Go to the site. Now, if you if the site is unblocked, you will have to uh, copy this link and then put it in the Dodge site, which we just used. And just put it in there at the search bar and you can just do the same thing. Now, what you have to do is either click on your account and sign in or click anywhere and sign in. You can also just search for Fortnite, Fortnite, click on it, click on sign in, and then pick an account. So use an account. All right. Once you've just logged in, it should be loading. And now you should be able to play Fortnite. So click on play. Now do note that you're able to play with controller and play with touch. So I believe that if you'd like to play with keyboard, what you will have to do is the following. So you have to go to the Chrome web store like this. And basically you're gonna search for Xbox, Xbox Cloud and Gaming Keyboard. And if you search for that, then you should see this keyboard and mouse for Xbox Cloud Gaming. If you now add this extension to Chrome, you should see this extension pop up right over here. Now just to pin this extension, click on this little pin icon and now this extension is pinged. So what you'll have to do is click on start free trial. Now right over here, you should just put in a random email address that you got. And then I believe you can start the free trial so that you can use your keyboard and mouse. 
If we click on play with Fortnite, as you can see, it's now going into full screen. Okay, so my Fortnite is now launching. Very easy. For this, I didn't have to wait, but normally uh, I believe that you have to wait a little bit. But for me, I didn't have to wait, so now I can play Fortnite. But just to check, it's now connecting. Okay, so now we have to choose between link account and skip this. So I'm just going to click on skip this. We need to enter full screen to play with mouse and keyboard. I'm going to click on skip this. Are you sure? Okay, no thanks. Play Fortnite. Now you have to just enter in your date of birth, etc. Then click on continue. Now it should be logging in. Click on accept. Now the thing is you won't save your progress and you won't be playing with an account. You'll just be playing with a sort of like a guest account. As you can see, I'm now able to play Fortnite. If I click on play, I will now go in a game and I will be able to play Fortnite. If this helped you, please like, subscribe and say thank you for watching. Goodbye.